first alert weather. So we're wrapping up a nice warm Labor Day with temperatures going above the seasonal norms. As we get through the next couple of days, the temperatures are expected to climb even further. We will be looking for numbers to get into those low to mid 90s in the coming days. And it's going to get pretty toasty around here before a cold front sweeps in late this week heading into the approaching weekend. Let's get outside right now to the Idaho Falls First Alert Sky Cam. We're at 74 degrees and we have very dry conditions with winds still out of the southwest at 14 miles an hour. Pocatello Farm Bureau Sky Cam. We're at 67 degrees. Winds out of the south at 11 miles an hour, 19% humidity. And we've been kind of just covered with that smoke and haze and very little moisture in the forecast. You have to go pretty far to see anything on the radar scope. We're talking North Texas and a bit of Minnesota and North Dakota tonight getting some wet weather, but locally it is a dry forecast and also region wide it is a dry forecast thanks to high pressure parked over Nevada and it is going to amplify in the coming days. Now that cold front you see there over North and South Dakota, that cold front has been the reason why it's been breezy here locally. It's a dry cold front putting down its energy mostly to the north of us here. We've just been on the tail end of that front. As we get through tomorrow, we will see even warmer temperatures for Tuesday and Wednesday as the high builds right over Nevada and northern Utah. And notice the upper level winds coming out of California and Oregon. And that's going to grab onto more of that smoke and haze. As we go into Wednesday, temperatures continuing to climb. This is when we start to get really hot outside. Uh, Wednesday's highs, many spots will be well into those low 90s across southern Idaho. And as we push forward into Thursday, that ridge of high pressure begins to collapse just a little bit. It flattens out. There's a push of cooler wet weather trying to work in from the west coast. That's going to happen getting into Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We will see temperatures fall back a little bit here for the approaching weekend with some spotty thunderstorms and gusty winds. Smoke is going to be an issue, and unfortunately we are stuck with the smoke for the time being. You can see it's just hanging overhead, and those upper level winds just continuing to push that smoke in from the southwest. 74 degrees for Wednesday afternoon at Old Faithful, close to 80 degrees at Canyon Village on Wednesday. Uh, tomorrow and Wednesday, looking pretty good in the national parks. As we go to Viper, again, it's dry out there. We don't see any moisture, but as we go into the forecast here, we're going to be looking at numbers into the upper 80s for Preston, 91 in Malad tomorrow, 85 in Montpelier, and 86 in Lava with dry conditions. 83 for Driggs and Jackson with 86 in Rexburg, lower 80s in Island Park. Temps in central Idaho into the low 90s for Chaus, upper 80s, lower 90s in Salmon. We're at the mid 80s in Ketchum and Sun Valley with highs in the upper 80s in Blackfoot, upper 80s. 80s in Blackfoot and 86 in Rigby. In the extended forecast, temperatures here falling into the 80s by this weekend. Uh, we will see things though get pretty hot around here for Wednesday and Thursday with highs around 93 and 92 for Wednesday and Thursday. We're into the mid 80s on Friday, lower 80s on Saturday. Rexburg highs around 90 for Wednesday and Thursday, back into the mid 80s on Friday, 70s this weekend with a few thunder showers on Saturday and Sunday. We go to Salmon with highs at 94 for Wednesday, 92 for Thursday, and the temperatures scale back into the 80s and 70s this weekend with passing rumbles of thunder. As we go to Jackson, highs around 85 for Wednesday, 87 on Thursday, upper 70s on Saturday, lower 70s on Sunday. And as we go to Pocatello, look for highs here at 89 for tomorrow, 94 for Wednesday. We're into the 80s this weekend for Friday, Saturday, lower 80s by Sunday with some thunderstorms. And it's going to be mild as we get through next week as well. Idaho Falls, great day forecast, 92 for Wednesday, 91 on Thursday. And we're into the mid 80s on Friday, lower 80s on Saturday, 70s by Sunday. Our John Adams, GMC Spirit of Idaho, entitled to be or not to be. Well, we got two B's here on a beautiful flower taken by Tom in Pocatello. We like to see your John Adams, GMC Spirit of Idaho. Go to news3now.com. But things definitely heating up in the weather forecast. All right, well, that was a beautiful picture. Mm -hmm. To be or not to be, that is the question. Will yes. it win? That is the question. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks so much, Michael. Coming up, a community is worried its field of dreams is about to be